So black men think that they're under fire. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description, as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Also, y'all said that my pop leaning on the zesty side. I'm cool with y'all calling me anything but broke. Call me whatever you want to call me, but don't call me broke and tell your little, tell your mama I said what up though. All right? Tell your mama, tell my dukes. I said, daddy is going to be waiting for you when 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 their son decides to move out of the basement. I'm going to come and bless her home. Hallelujah. Uh, shout out to all of my black men out here in the building. Why Alvin sent $6 so he don't get the pop? Alvin, I'm going to read that super chat shortly. We're going to get to that. Uh, black men is always complaining. White men have been one up in y'all since the day that y'all were brought into this country and y'all lost and the capitalism war because y'all people sold y'all over into these Europeans and you got the bad end of the deal. You got peanuts for participating in the slave trade. And yes, you do. Yes, your ancestors need to be held accountable for selling you over here to these good white people. And then ever since y'all got here, white people have been mopping the floor with y'all, even in the victim Olympics. A lot of people don't really know. A lot of people don't really know. They think that white people have just been winning when it comes to how it is that they set up the systematic oppression in order to oppress you and have you running in the victim Olympics. The reality is this. This is the reality. White people have been beating you to the punch in every single thing that you do. Shout out to Ronnie Robinson. White people have been beating you to the punch. White men were the ones that lost control of their household uh, which gave rise and birth to feminism, which then black women said, you know what? I don't want to be out here breaking up. I don't want y'all to be out here breaking up y'all home by yourselves. We want to go and break up our homes too. We want to go ahead and utilize the family court system in order to fuck up our lives too. We want our kids running in the victim Olympics. We don't want y'all white women to be by yourselves. Weez loves y'all. So Weez want to participate in the feminism movement also. And then white men was like, you know what? We're going to go our own way. So we're going to get red pilled and then we're going to go men going their own way. MGTOW movement because we're also going to do it. And then black man said, yes, I'm going to become a part of the MGTOW movement too. Let me continue to have kids out of wedlock so I can get mad at the women in order to take me to family court. And even though I know that they're going to finesse me, I'm going to continue to put myself in harm way. And then white man said, you know what? We're going to secretly go over here to Thailand, to Tsusua to all of these other countries, to the Dominican Republic, and we's gonna go over here and be passport men's. We gonna be passport bunnies. And then the black man said, not without me. I'm coming over there so I can lose all of my money to these women that's gonna finesse me too. I'm gonna be a passport bro. You be a passport bunny, I'm gonna be a passport bro. And so they still kicking y'all ass. They kicking y'all ass in every single thing that they do. Shout out to Unlimited Cam. And not only are they kicking y'all ass on winning, but they kicking y'all ass on losing. White men have been getting finessed since the beginning of time. And that could never be any more true than the example that you see right here with Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's wife, ex-wife, who he's going through a divorce with, is asking for a quarter of a million dollars a month in child support. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait. Listen, I don't care if you're a billionaire. I don't care if you're Elon Musk himself. It is no way in the world that you're not going to tell me that it hurts to fork over a quarter of a million dollars in child support. That ain't even got nothing to do with alimony. And he allegedly had a prenuptial agreement. Let me go ahead and bring in another YouTuber in order to explain it a little bit better. Uh, make sure you guys hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. It is going to be a phenomenal show. And remember that if you disagree with me or you have a question, you will be able to be able, you will be able to be able, you will be able to come in and ask whatever it is that you want to ask off camera, on camera, it's going to be up to you. Let's go ahead and get into the show, ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone and welcome back to Country Cast. Ever since Kevin Costner's wife Christine Baumgartner filed for divorce from the star back on May 1st of this year, things appear to be heating up and becoming contentious throughout their divorce proceedings. 
And now with the most recent filing from Kevin Costner's wife, it shows that she is now asking for Kevin to pay a massive amount of money for monthly child support. Y'all see the uh, the banjos and the country music that's playing in the back? See, Scotty Pippen, I see y'all in the chat. And I'm going to be reading Super Chat shortly. Scotty Pippen just had to give up, <laughs> just had to give up more than half of whatever his uh, pension and 401k was that came from the NBA. Kevin Costner's wife said, somebody said, Anton, what are you wearing today? This is called People Love Good Quality. Go to the website, People Love Good Quality. And then tell them that Anton, peoplelovegoodquality.com, I think that's the website. Tell them that Anton Daniel sent you. You can order this shirt. You can order any of my bucket hats. You can order this hat. You can order uh, this hat right here. People love good quality. They send me great clothes. I get nothing from it. I am not asking anything from it. They just send me this awesome stuff. And then I give it to you guys. People love good quality is the name of the clothes. And you are more than welcome to be able to get all of this great gear. And just tell them that Anton's seeing you and tell them, hey, make sure that you stay a bag chaser because Anton is out here promoting your products. You know what I'm saying? Because he loves to promote the products of the people that he loves. White women have been destroying black women too. You know how? Because they've been showing y'all how to finesse and y'all still ain't caught the memo. Y'all getting pennies out of these dudes. These chicks is getting 250 bands and they look regular as fuck. They flat boarded. They booties is flat. They don't even have no curves to them or anything like that. And all of these basic, see, y'all are get y'all keep admiring the people that ain't even getting no money. You go out there, you get a BBL, you get some injection in your lips, you get these eyelashes, you get your eyebrows arched, you over there looking like a mannequin. You over there looking stupid, looking like you permanently got your eyes up. Looking dumb as piss. And white women is over here just keeping it basic, keeping it cool, playing it nice. Yes, honey. No, honey. Getting a man to renegotiate what the prenuptial agreement is and getting a quarter million dollars out of month. Didn't even have to get a BBL to do it. Port. Before we get to what Baumgartner's newest request is, if y'all remember, shortly after she initially filed for divorce from Kevin, we learned from court records that Kevin Costner and his wife had a prenuptial agreement in mm. place. In the documents, according to People, Kevin agreed to pay $38,000 a month in child support in addition to 100% of certain child-related costs, including private school tuition. So he's agreed to, because this is the biggest finesse, and this is why I'm so hard on these women, and they keep saying, Anton, you, you, you need to be nicer to the women. He's agreed to pay $38,000 in child support. There is no child or no group of children that needs the equivalent of $400,000 in support. There is no group of children that need close to $400,000 in support. Not one. And you know what the real finesse is? Not only is he giving her $38,000 a month, already taxed and he got to pay for private school tuition let's see what else he's agreed to do books fees mm. and uniforms and mm. school trips children's sports camps and other agreed upon extracurricular activities so he's paying for everything so the thirty-eight thousand dollars a month is basically just giving it to you to do whatever it is that you want to do that's what he already agreed to with a prenuptial agreement. All right, listen, you know what? No big deal. I'm going to pay you 400 bands a year. I'm going to pay you $400,000 a year, man. That's almost $8 million throughout the lifetime of these children, man. But white women ain't fucking around with y'all. They said, nah, I want everything. I want your soul as well as health insurance, Ooh. unreimbursed medical expenses, okay. and therapy costs for their children. Mm. In the prenup, 
Costner's wife, Christine, was also to vacate the property that they shared within 30 days of the divorce filing. However, in new filings, it has been alleged that she has yet to vacate. And they don't even care nothing about what the judge say. They don't care nothing about what the what the prenuptial agreement say. She said, take me to jail. Throw away the key. Lock me up. I dare you. I dare you to put one hand on me. I dare you to say somebody, say somebody and go and call the police and tell me to vacate the premises. I dare you. I dare you. Not only do I dare you, now I'm gonna ask for a quarter million. Watch this. In addition to all of this, Costner has agreed to also help out with rental and moving costs for mm. Bumgardner. The court docs also show that Costner has already paid Christine $1 million as stipulated by the premarital agreement. And as I mentioned, there is now a new request from Christine Bumgardner, where she is asking for a much larger payment surrounding child support than initially agreed upon by Costner. According to the new documents obtained by People, Bumgardner is now asking that Costner pays $248,000 a month in child support. Also cited in the filing, Costner's estranged wife alleges that $248,000 is still less than the amount needed to maintain the children in their accustomed lifestyle. Y'all all right? Y'all breathing still? Did you catch your breath? Did you catch your breath? She said, listen, not only do I want $248,000 a month and child support, it still really ain't even enough to really maintain the type of lifestyle that the children really want. <laughs> he shouldn't even have filed. I don't know who filed, whether he filed or she filed. I think that he was the one that filed. I can't be sure about that. I would have just stuck with her. Baby, you know what? I know we got a, a prenup, but I love you. The day that that youngest kid turned 18 years old, I would have been at the court immediately. But rich people, poor people, black people, white people, they all get finessed in the same way. All of them is getting fleeced. Men are getting fleeced fleeced to their core what is that three million dollars a year you're telling me it take three million dollars a year to be able to take care of a kid bum gardener is now also requesting that kevin pays 100 percent of private school tuition extracurricular activities on such top as of sports that. and health care expenses for their children so not only was the initial divorce filing a surprise for Kevin Costner, but it seems as though the proceedings themselves is also becoming quite the journey for the two. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what I present to you today is that the fleece is in. The ability to be able to extract every piece of resource out of you Take your soul, devour everything from you. Was it worth it? Is any woman, honestly, honestly, just in a general sense, is any woman in the world, no matter how good of a mother she is, no matter how fat her ass is, no matter how much she swallows, no matter what she does, no matter how much she can take, is there any woman in the world, anyone, Anyone that is good enough to actually pay 200. If you are a billionaire, if you have $50 billion, is it any woman in the world that's worth $250,000 a month? Just curious. Just curious. I can't figure out for the life of me why, why, because the, the, by all indications, allegedly what they saying out here in the streets is that she's the one that cheated with one of the people that actually worked for. <laughs> oh, 
allegedly she's the one that cheated and she the one that got a younger boyfriend out here in these streets. So you ask me whether or not I feel sorry for the Mary J. Blige's of the world and the Kelly Clarkston's that got to pay 30 and 60 and 70 and 100,000. I don't feel sorry even a little bit because how have we, and this is just my, my genuine, honest to God opinion. How have we not at the top of the ballot Every single man need to contact a legislative branch, even if you're not a man that can have kids anymore. I can't have kids because I got a vasectomy, but I still feel for your pain. I still feel for your pain. At the top of every single ballot, from every legislator, from every person that's looking to get your vote in a presidential on any local election and every judge that's looking to come into it, the top of the the top policy that we need to address is updating family court laws. Honestly, this is really getting out of hand. This is out of control. And any judge that is looking at this, if if that's not at the top of the ballot, I don't know what should be. I can't think of anything, not one thing, not reparations, not closing off our borders, not making sure that we uh, get extra funding for Social Security, not updating what the curriculums are in our schools, not the policy as it comes to health care coverage, not VA benefits, not anything. I can't think of one thing, not one thing that is more impactful to the family that takes away from the wealth and what it is that we doing within our communities that segments breaks up and then changes the culture and the narrative by which we have to deal with our children that then affects what our future is going to be. I can't think of one thing, not one thing that is more important than addressing and updating family court laws in all 50 states. There should not be one thing that is more important than updating our legislative uh, process, our judicial process, and what's happening in family court. Not one thing. It is a trickle down effect. If y'all want to talk about policies and 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 all of that, they all say that the system is set up against us as far as white supremacy has helped, has kept there to keep black people down. Family court laws is there to break up the whole world. It destroys the whole fabric of what it is that we are as Americans within this country. The ability to be able to really become great. There is nothing that's more important than family court laws. Honest to God. All jokes aside. If that shouldn't be at the, if they don't ask that as the first question in a presidential debate, I don't even want to watch it. I don't even want to tune in. I don't give a fuck about what China is doing. I don't give a damn about Ukraine. I don't give a, a, give a flying fuck about the BRIC system, Russia. I don't care. If that's not at the, at the forefront of the debate and, and the top of legislative policies, I don't want to know. I don't care about minimum, minimum wage, artificial intelligence. Deal with family court, and then we can talk about all of the rest of it, because this is absolutely dumb.